it's a cliche, Susan, that the world is a big place, and it is. And I know when I was planning the first of my two years out, a uh, year out before university, it was a daunting prospect that I could go anywhere and do anything, and it became a little bit too daunting with too many options. How would you recommend that people narrow down the range of options that are available to them in terms of where they go? Yeah. Well, I think the first step would be to just sort of sit down and clearly think about what you want to do or what would what you're capable of doing and make a list of your kind of ideal five places, five kinds of placement, kinds of job. They may not be realistic, but once you start investigating, you'll you'll discover what and what is possible, what isn't possible. Um, so I think the internet is a terribly daunting place to start because you just go from one possibility to another and lots of these organizations make them sound exciting and uh, and you just don't know where to begin. So I think I would say start with a book which sort of structures the way you can think about it. So you might just think, oh, well, I don't want to consider that whole category of um, expeditions or something because that's not me. And then um, and just focus on the kinds of, of uh, experience that you're after, or kinds of work that you're, you want to have. Um, and after you've done that, then you can go to the Internet and tweet, find out the, the nitty gritty details of the kinds of things you want. But that would be one one way of narrowing it down. Many other external factors will narrow down your options. So, um, for instance, the whether or not you can get a work visa for countries is a, is a huge factor. Um, and so I'm sure everyone out there is, is aware that you can work in Europe without any, in European Union countries, if you are an EU citizen yourself, without any difficulty. But outside that, you have to look quite carefully at what the requirements are. So there are working holiday visas in countries like Australia, New Zealand, Canada, which graduates can, or you don't have to be a graduate, but young people aged 18 to 30 are eligible to apply for. Um, and there are other schemes in other countries, but they all differ and they all have to be taken into consideration. So if someone says, oh, I'd just love to go and get a job in Bhutan or or Mongolia or or Turkey, it might not be possible from the visa point of view so that's mm -hmm. another way of limiting what you can do true and also i guess cost is um, a, a yeah. limiting factor as well yeah it is but that's true uh the if, if you go to the google rankings the ones that go to the top are the sort of schemes and agencies that usually charge a great deal even for voluntary placements they're adding a huge amount for making it easy for you uh, and a lot of those are prohibitively expensive but then there are other schemes and other ways of doing it independently where um, the outlay would be much, much less. So, And, of course, if you go to a nearer country that you can get to on a megabus, that's going to be a lot cheaper than if you go to some very remote country or a long way away like New Zealand.